Who's ready to dance? I'm ready to dance. Annyeonghaseyo. I'm Stephanie, your fellow dancer, here to teach you Mago by Jifren. And today I will be teaching you guys the first chorus and second verse. So, let's get started. Sorry, did I say Yuji? I meant Yuju. So, we're going to continue on with Yuju's part in this case. So, from our position here, I'm going to hop so that my feet are kind of like in a lunge position here. I'm going to wrap my hands around my body. And then I'm going to turn one full revolution to the right. And as we do that, I want to make sure that my hands are glued together, palms facing forward, above my head, and my right foot is right next to my left knee. So again, here, give me like one, two. Then I'm going to hop. So my feet are hip distance, hands are going to be kind of in front of the shoulders. And then I'm going to slightly bend my right knee as I bring my, my fingers out, making sure my palms are facing upwards. So then from here, everyone's going to do the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop to the left, or mainly on our left foot, but we're going to cross our right foot out. Hands are going to be kind of down behind our butt. And we're going to switch, so it's like one, two to here. Then I'm going to place my left foot to the left. I'm going to place my hands on my hips, and I'm going to do a hip circle to the left, to the right side here. And as I do that, I want to bring my hands down to my thighs and back up. So again, from here, it's like one, two. And then from here, when I get to my right side, I'm going to sit down onto my right. I'm going to bring my right hand and then my left hand to my hip. So it's like one, two to here making sure my wrists are facing front, of course. From there, I'm then going to switch and stand to the left with my left hand up into my head, like at head or head, head level here. Then I'm going to sit down. I'm going to lower my hand to like about chest hip level. So no, also notice that my palm is facing down to the left, so it's like one, two, then I'm going to switch. So now we're going to deal with our right hand, making sure our palm is facing up. And then I'm going to stand and bring my hand up to head level. So again, from like here, it's one, two, three, four. So kind of making like a square, you could say. From here, then I'm then going to go one step and sit onto my left hip. Two step and sit onto my right and then three back to the right, to the left. So it's always left, right, left. Notice that my knees are bent at all times. So then with the hand, we're going to like extend it on that first one, and we're gonna slowly move it to kind of like the front here on our last two steps. So it's gonna be like one, two, three. Then from there, I'm going to step to the right. I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna straighten my legs, and I'm going to point that finger down to the front left corner. From there then, I'm then going to switch again, now to the front right corner. I'm going to bring my hands behind my head, and then I'm going to slide down to my right knee here. From here then, I'm going to then step and throw, hop step and throw. So you can either do this to the left or to the right. So it's always just step, and then throw and kind of bend your knee here. Then to reset, you're just going to hop, step, again with the slide, and throw. So then from here, after your two throws, we're then going to go one to the right, referring to my kind of like hip here, and hip here, hands are behind my back, of course, wrist facing front, pop, or the chest is slightly popped out, so it's always going to be like one, and then two, we're going to switch to the left. And then from there, we're going to switch back to the right, bring my right hand up. Palm should be facing down in this case, fingers should be out, and to the left. So it's going to be one, two, one, two to here. From there then, I'm then going to step one, two, and then one, two to here. So these hands specifically are for Sinbi's part for 
this first chorus. So basically it's just a twirl around the fingers and then circle around the hands and close into a fist. If you don't want to do that, you can just step, 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 step with your hands down to your side. So after a one, two, and then one, two here, you're going to wait a count, or if you want to, you can move to a position in one count, but that's kind of hard. So we're just going to wait one count. From here, this is the mago part. So I'm going to show you the hands first. We're going to bring our hands like this, and then we're going to circle it around and close it into fist. Then we're going to circle it back, open, and close. So it's going to be like one, two, one, two, like that. So now with the feet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my right foot out relatively hip distance here, and I want to make sure that my right knee is bent. But not like super bent. Because what we're going to do is we're going on each kind of like circle, I'm going to bend further onto my right foot knee here. So from here it's going to be one, two, and straighten slightly. One, two, straighten slightly. So these aren't like very big. So don't go like too crazy on them. So after the two of those, I'm going to kind of come to normal. I'm going to sit down, slightly sticking out my right hip, bringing my hands down like this, slightly bent. Palm should be facing down in this case. Then I'm going to pop out my left hip. I'm going to bring everything in, or sorry, I'm going to then bring it back to normal. Then I'm going to slide my left foot in, and then I'm going to sit back onto my right hip. So I made a very small mistake, but from here with the mango, we're going to go down, up with the left hip, down again, a little again with the left hip, or in bringing our hands together, and then we'll bring it all down together with our right hip up. So it's going to be like one and two and three like that. From here I'm then going to pick up my left foot, cross it over my right leg. Hands are going to be on the hips here, making sure that my wrist or the back of my wrist are facing front. Then I'm going to place my left toe out to the left, sticking out my left hip. Then I'm going to kind of transfer my weight and switch my feet or switch my toes and as I do that I'm going to then kind of raise my hands up to about my chest, like that. From there, I'm then going to bring my right foot next to my left foot, bend my knees. I'm going to then bring my hands kind of like this, so palms should be facing to the left here. So with the hands, it's going to be to the right, low, circle them in towards yourself, and then up to about head level with palms facing to the left. So those are the hands. With this, you want to do kind of like a small, very small body wave to left. So it's going to be like one, two to here. Then with the hands, I'm going to go right first. I'm going to circle it, then left, and then bring it out. So it's like one, two, and bring it out. Again, right, left, to there. So now with that part, after our one, two, I'm going to circle, circle, and when I come to that kind of fancy position here, I'm going to bring out my left foot and kind of face or point everything to that front left corner. And then we're going to do kind of like two slides to here again. After that, it's pretty much the same. We're going to go again, mago, mago, one, two, and down. From there, then I'm going to take one slide, either to the right or left, and I'm going to go again. This is the tick, tuck, tick, tuck, from there. From here, I'm going to go left, right, left, again with the hands circling around each other and coming together. Palms should be facing out towards yourself. So one, two, like this. And then I'm going to bend my knees. If you need to, you can lift your left heel for a little help. And we're going to just kind of bring our hands down slowly into a fist until they're about at our head here. So now let's give you that part before we go on. So from our 
here and here. We're going to go one, two, three, turn, hop, and bring it out. Hop to the left, right, circle those hips, right, left with the hand, left up, down, right down, and up. One, two, three, four, stand up, switch, and come down. One, two, one, two throws, and then we go tick, tuck, tick, tuck. One, two, one, two with the feet. Here, way to counter so. We're gonna go mango, mango, bring it down, left hip out, bring it back down, together, and right hip out. Bring, kick that left foot to the left, hands on hips, to the left, right, bring it together, down, one, two with the hands, one, two to the pose, and then two steps to here. Again, ma go, ma go, one, two, three, four to here, and slide. We're gonna go tick, tuck, tick, tuck. Right, left, circle the hands up to the above your head, and then come down. So then after you come down, you're gonna very, very quickly go left and then right so that it's slightly out. With the hand, I'm going to place my left hand on my hip here, and I'm gonna bring my right hand out kind of like this. So I believe it's with finger pads together, but you can keep your hands straight or you can slightly bend them if you want to. So then from here, we wanna look down, and then we're gonna do basically like one, two, three, four, so kind of slightly down and to the right, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and we're gonna look front to about here. I'm then going to bring my hand out and back in. And then from there, I'm gonna do a little shake and then bring my right hand down. So it's gonna be like one, two, three, four, bring it out and in, shake your shoulders and bring it down. From there then, I'm then going to kneel down, either onto my left or either onto my right or left leg, depending on which person. And I'm going to place kind of my hands on my thighs and I'm going to look down. From there then, I'm then going to throw my hands back and raise my head. So it's like one, two. From here, this is going to be kind of fast, but we want to kind of open our knees, so we're in like a first position here. And this is going to be like really slow bringing in that right knee to face left. Again, you can do it to the other side if you want to. So then after that, do that. If in this case I'm following Cynthia, but you're going to turn to face to the right here, and then you're going to stand with a few shoulder circles back. From here, we're gonna do kind of like what we did in the first or first verse. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go hop left, right to the hips, and then hop left, right, bringing them in. Again, hop to the left here. And now from here, with those kind of like two hip movements, I'm gonna bring my right hand in front, and then we're going to sit, and we're going to slowly bring that right hand up like that. So again, from here, two and one, two like that. From here, you're gonna wait for your count and you're gonna slide either to the right or left. Feet together, arms down to side. And then everyone will join in at some point. And we're gonna place our hands on our hips. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like tiny hops, but we're gonna kind of stick out hip, butt, and then hip like that. So again, it's like hip, butt, hit, like that. And this is really fast, so it's like one, two, three. Like that. And from there, we're gonna hop left, right, bring my hands again to, to my back, making sure my palms are, or the my wrists are facing front. And then I'm going to hop again, right, left, bring my head down, 
and up. So all together, it's gonna look like one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and up. So now to do that part before you go on. So after this part, we're gonna go left, right, one, two, three, four, bring it out in, shake the shoulders, bring it down to the thigh, come down with the head, and then throw them back. Open up and slowly bring that right knee in. Switch sides, stand up one, two, to here. From there, one, two, one, two, to the left, and one, two, now with the right hand. On your count, slide either to the right or left. On some certain count, we're gonna go one, two, three with the hops. Right, left, right, left, and down, up. Great job, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned part of this dance with me. That makes me really happy. And if you wish to review or learn this part, go take a look down in the description box below. Anyways, I challenge you guys to bend me because I know you can. Also, please do subscribe for more cool dance tutorials like this. If you haven't, that would be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Happy dancing!